Hello, hello, hello. This is your boy Brandon Karaya, and we are back with another reaction. And the series we got today is Arcane, and it is for episode three called The Base Violence Necessary for Change. That title alone excites me. And I, if you watch my last reaction, Episode two, I really enjoyed because it really showed and kind of painted a picture of where the show is kind of heading and what it's really, really about. So this title alone paints a very good picture for what this episode is going to be. And, and I'm excited. Honestly, last episode is the one episode one didn't hook me as much, but it, it's a pilot episode. It's, it's exposition, setting up characters, the world and that stuff. Episode two really, really, really got me hooked and it ended off with our main character Vi and I didn't even realize that Haley Steinfeld is my girl Haley Steinfeld is voicing Vi I didn't even realize that and we saw at the we saw at the end of the last episode she was in a room by herself me kind of it seemed like she was kind of about to come face to face with the enforcers either to turn herself in because it looked like Vander was kind of like shocked. He kind of pieced something together like really, really late. And I, I thought it was Vander that sent the message originally to the enforcers, but it seemed like it was Vi and it ended off on a cliffhanger. So it, it, it really, I, I had to jump right into episode three because it, it really had me hooked. So let, let's, let's not long talk anymore. Let's get into Arcane Episode 3, the base violence necessary for change. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Even this opening was like the, um, like the, the jukebox from the bar is really cool. Honestly, I was like, my screen is black for a Never minute. Never wonder what it's like to drown. Like, all I think about is Grand Admiral Thrawn from Star Wars Rebels. Hey saying that was vander but i'm guessing he's in the lower side and it's showing i feel like he's showing they're showing that he's more connected to vander because the kid that he gave the serum to ran up on vi and powder and milo and like the protagonist so i'm guessing he's a lower side kind of antagonist that makes sense no this man's about to turn himself in. Without you down here, it all falls apart. Mm. Devilish charm. He bends over. He runs a time ship. Oh, Vander, no! See, so she was planning to turn herself in. Oh, it's the man? It's the, uh, the kid you're saying. Yo, my girl. Yo, they dunned her off. They couldn't have done off the next enforcer, man. Okay, so there you go. So he is a... Oh, no, Benzo. Benzo. You never did know when to walk away. Wait! Damn. This man snaked him. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. Your whole fucking unit is murked. Man. This entire time I thought I needed to dampen the oscillations. Ways to make the world a better place. This Hextech dream. I don't know if I trust this man, you know. I might, might take your designs or something. I don't know if I trust this man. Our. See, our, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't been grinding on this my whole life. Yeah, how would anyone know that they're here? That she was here. Yeah. This man lived with Benzo. I saw everything. Oh, okay. Be Benzo. Where? Oh, no, I was scared. I was scared. Look at me. Like you're lucky I don't have my gauntlets. Okay, so it's like he has like a vendetta against the top side also. Can you imagine what it's like when your blood mixes with the filth and the river toxins eat through your nerves? And I was left with an understanding. Interesting. The only way to defeat a superior enemy is to stop at nothing. 
we can finally realize our dreams. This guy's gonna give him this shit, eh? Brother. Look at what you've done. Not that man anymore. Now I'll show you what you really are. Wow, he sold him out, Snake. Save Vander, save Vander. Hmm. Sister. What is it, the bedroom? See you, huh? He already does. It scares him. Yeah. It scares them all. What about you? Hey, get out of here, Enforcer. Counselor, this technology, it's real. And no matter what happens here, it's going to change our world. Just give us a chance. Give us a, give me a chance. Late and y'all can head bottom side. I need my research. Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. I need my notes. I, I call the gauntlets. The I want the gauntlets. Boy. We gotta go. Where's it tore him apart? Yeah. You're not coming. I'm not afraid. It's too dangerous. Yourself. Uh, I know what I said. I want to fight. I can help. You're damn. Now you're gonna cheese powder. You're all I have left. I can't lose you. Yeah, well, she's like, you're all I have left. Here. No, I feel like powder's gonna turn up in this show, yo. She's gonna be like, all y'all were doubting me. She's gonna be, I'm telling you, she's gonna harness some crystal, some crystal business and turn up. Are you sure you know what you're doing? He's like, nah. Yeah, you know, she's freaking out right now. Yo, know, powder is going crazy right now, yo. Know? You just have those in your bag. Like, you can't just be dashing them. I still don't dash the crystals. Yeah, like, why did you keep on turning them? Yeah. Yeah, they probably already gave it to this man. Y'all can't be going to him right across the main bridge. Milo, on it. They already gave him the serum, bro. This guy's probably about to go crazy. I think Powder's about to be envy coming clutch. Yeah, like, give me the gauntlets. E. Oh, this is a, this is a tough scene. Come on, Milo. I feel like they gave the man something already. Ooh, into the kidney? My goodness! Caught, caught straight by the neck? He's about to. This is what he's about to. Are getting dashed by the neck, though? Or are getting caught by the neck, fam? Oh, is he like recreating like the new patterns? That's for the council to decide. <laughs> He's so intrigued though, like the scientist in Perhaps him. Perhaps it's time. Hex tech. You have to work for me, okay? I'm dead. The boy is hitting the. Damn. Yeah, that explosion's massive. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're all getting murked. Oh! Yo, my dude lost his eyes, I think, bro. Damn, bro. They're dead. Or they're just dead. Milo got a fucking thing put to his shoulder. And then this man's not even dead. Wow. Two friends are just dead. Like, that's crazy. Oh, Vanner's about to go crazy. Damn. Oof. That's crazy that Milo and I can't remember the other guy's name. That's crazy. Oh, 
Oh, he would crush your skull right now, but the man's feeling bad. Damn. So Powder Babe came to help and ended up killing everybody. Like, <laughs> like is Powder not the reason that Milo and the other guy died? Because the explosion? Oh, yeah, he was like, yeah, this man's dead. Yeah. Like, what happened to Powder? Like, she just got blown off the side of the building, and they didn't even show what happened to her. We don't even know where Powder is, and Vander's dead. I was saving you. Yeah. I only wanted to help my own. I told you to stay away. That's crazy. Wow, I just got punched her. That's Why crazy. Why did you leave me? Violet, please. Damn. That's crazy. Now this man's probably gonna take in powder and turn her because she's mad susceptible. And she just hugs the man. She was gonna come back for interesting. This is an interesting turn. That's crazy. I did not think this. It's okay. I did not think this episode would go this way. That is crazy. I can hear the sound. Literally so many of the main characters are are dead now, are of our main kind of protagonist that we got introduced to at the beginning. Because I, I know I saw some, maybe some thumbnails of them being a little bit older. I wonder if there's a time jump. Because basically Milo, Vander, the, 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 the other friends dead, and now they're separate. Benzo's dead. Echo, the kid is probably back at thing, but it's like for the most part, most the, the 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 cop, the cop protagonist ended up dying. That was kind of close with Vander. Interesting, 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 interesting. Honestly, I did not think the episode would go that way. I thought maybe like they would have given him the the serum already. He would have went crazy. That kind of seemed, but everything else about powder coming and trying to save them and i thought she was actually genuinely gonna do something or i thought maybe the, the crystals like exploding like that would have given them powers or something like that but no it was just a straight mishap and mayhem and milo yo my guy milo got a long ass pole coming out to like here in his shoulder and then building collapsed on him that was crazy like vander ended up dying like i i just and i did not see her coming out and being like oh i helped and then violet being like oh you're a jinx and kind of someone kind of leaving her for a bit but then seeing that obviously that's a, that that's her sister she's gonna try and defend it defend her and i just i don't know if that was the original if that was the cop that betrayed his unit that tried to just chloroform Violet and save her somehow, even though y'all saw, and I know she probably couldn't have done anything in the moment with all the enforcers and shit coming too, but I did not see Powder kind of going under the wing of, I think his name is Zuko or Suko, whatever Vander was saying. I did not see him kind of going under his wing and, and basically turning bad and like her being like, oh, I don't have a sister anymore. So, from what I see, there's still going to be the classism stuff, but there's going to be, I feel like, obviously, sister versus sister, like, Vi trying to save Powder from whatever lifestyle she gets into with this man. But, yeah, I did not expect that kind of turn or that to, like, happen at the end of that episode. So that is very interesting. Honestly, this show is fire. Like now I'm honestly I'm starting to understand what what the hype is about. This show is actually fire, honestly. And and we're on episode 3 and I'm, I'm excited for episode 4 to see what happens next, see where Violet goes from here, see where Powder goes from here. And again, those are really the only two characters that we could see that we could say let's see where it goes from here because everyone else is dead that we kind of learned to kind of care about in the first two episodes, even down to Benzo. So 
It's going to be interesting to see. I think that is it for this reaction video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode, what your favorite part of this episode was. If you're interested in content like this, trailer reactions, episode reactions, right now I'm currently doing the Penguin, Agatha All Along, Bleach. I'm going to be dropping Dragon Ball Daima very soon. So if you're interested in any of those reactions or reactions in general of all the big, fun, awesome stuff, subscribe to the Brandon Cry Network. You will not regret it. I appreciate you for watching. Let's grow this thing together. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.